Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Suyin here. Today we are going to do a Luno update. I know it's been requested for a while and I finally have made the time to make this video. So I hope you enjoy it and let's get started. Okay, so Luno is the platform that I am using currently to buy and store my Bitcoin. It is one of the approved and regulated digital asset exchange DEX, yeah, digital asset exchanges that is regulated by our Securities Commission here in Malaysia. It has presence in a couple of different countries, including Singapore as well. Why I like to use Luno to buy cryptocurrency, more specifically Bitcoin, is because it's very straightforward and it's not complicated at all. So what I've learned in the past few months since I've started this whole cryptocurrency small journey I realized that it is not that easy to buy crypto if you are not using an exchange that is trustworthy and regulated. And I guess that's a whole nother topic. Why we tend to want to have these kind of platforms that are regulated when we are buying into cryptocurrency and blockchain, which are meant to be independent and also away from this whole structure of using banks and intermediaries to transact. Yeah, I guess I know why I gravitate towards using platforms that are regulated. It is because I am still fearful that my money is just going to disappear. So that amount of regulation is a good trade-off and the trade-off comes with fees, I guess. And you all know that Luno has um, pretty decently high fees when it comes to using the instant trade feature. But as you know, there are two sides of the interface. You can use the standard instant buy and sell or you can also use the exchange site for cheaper fees after you have made use of the promo code for first time users. And the promo code is right here. It's LNSUYIN50, if I'm not mistaken, and I will link it down below if I've gotten that wrong. And yeah, a lot of you have enjoyed some increase in price of your cryptocurrency since the last video. So I'm very happy about that because I don't want to talk about assets when they are at their peak and then they drop. I just feel very bad. So I am filming in uh, a period of time where cryptocurrency, Bitcoin in particular, has had a bit of a correction. So just to give you some context, the last video, which I'll link up in the cards here, at that point in time, it was what, 70,000 ringgit per Bitcoin. And then now it is something like ringgit per bitcoin so it has seen a large increase and everyone was going crazy it was so hyped and there was a lot of excitement surrounding cryptocurrency because you know you suddenly see a lot of crypto millionaires and in the news people are talking about crazy amounts being made through selling nfts and when there's just a lot of excitement it just gives me more reason to be fearful so let me tell you what i did personally during this period of time and also, yes, I forgot to mention Coinbase IPO. So Coinbase is the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the US and it was a big deal and it pushed crypto or Bitcoin prices all the way to per Bitcoin. And yeah, it was all very interesting. And then now it has corrected down to this amount. A lot of people like to ask, you know, why is this happening? And the answer is no one really knows, but it can be due to several factors in combination. One would be the announcement of the Biden capital gains tax that they wanted to impose on the US citizens a higher rate of capital gains tax. And then we also have this slew of environmental concerns when it comes to mining of Bitcoin. You know, nothing about that is new where they say it's just so... Uh, not green to mine Bitcoin. It consumes a lot of energy. So yes, that is what has been happening. And I guess let me show you what is going on for my Luno account. Okay, so as we can see here, like I mentioned, this is the current price of Bitcoin in Luno right now. And it has come to my attention that there is um, 
difference between the price that you can get cryptocurrencies on Luno for versus the spot rate or the market rate. That is what it is when you're using a platform, especially a platform that is regulated and you can have that peace of mind and ease of buying cryptocurrency without needing to do many different steps of exchanging it into USD currency and paying for many other different transfer fees. What shall I show you? Okay, let's show you the wallet. A lot of you are going to ask me this question, so I'm going to address it right here. When I made that video, again, I'll link it up above for those of you who haven't seen it. I only deposited 500 ringgit and I used that to buy Bitcoin. And then later on, subsequently, I bought another round of 500 ringgit worth of Bitcoin. So in total, I had invested 1000 of my money into Bitcoin and it was sitting in my Bitcoin wallet in Luno. What happened was when you use a promo code like the one I have for you, it gives you 50 ringgit worth of free Bitcoin. And then that amount sits in your wallet and it also appreciates as the price of your Bitcoin appreciates as well. So that grew. And what happened was it came to a point where it was a lot of excitement surrounding Bitcoin and all the other cryptocurrencies and it came to a point where we were reaching levels of 239,000 ringgit per Bitcoin and what I did was I sold my Bitcoin. I think the value was 4,000 at that time and what I did was I took 2,000 in profits meaning what I wanted to do was take out my capital that I had invested and take out 100% of the profits that I earn. And I was just doing that because when it comes to investing in such a volatile currency, I wanted that peace of mind knowing that the small amount of capital that I had put in is safe and back in my currency balance. And in that sense, everything else, the remaining 2000 that I had in my Luno Bitcoin wallet was just for fun. It's just money that could go missing or could just grow incredibly as well and I wouldn't have to worry about it. So that was what happened and then after that Bitcoin kind of dipped so I was feeling very good about myself that I sold a little bit earlier and then after that naturally things are unpredictable and the whole Coinbase hype came about and it pushed the price all the way up to 260 something thousand ringgit per Bitcoin. and. You know, I was fine with that. It was pretty cool to witness and experience. And now you're going to be asking me, so how do you still have so much uh, money left over in your Bitcoin wallet, even though you sold 2000 worth of it? Okay, I received Bitcoin, as I said before, 50 ringgit worth of it for the bonus of uh, using that promo code. And also I was paid 2,000 ringgit worth of Bitcoin for a particular project that I did. So that was kind of cool getting paid in Bitcoin and that's the reason why I still have that amount in um, my Bitcoin wallet. So just to verify that everything I've said is true, let me just show you that yes, I bought 500 in August 2020 and then I received um, this amount, this amount, yes, approximately 50 ringgit worth of bitcoin for free which you can get as well and then in march i received um 2000 worth of bitcoin as well so that is it uh i guess i can show you the sale that i did in february 21st where i sold uh that amount and at Oh, 246,000 ringgit. So that's a bit more than I thought. And you can see here there's a trading fee uh, of almost 5 ringgit. And this was actually where I used the exchange to sell instead of the instant um, standard feature. So I guess you will be interested to see how to actually use it. So I'm going to give you a very quick rundown of how to use the exchange so you access it right there if you didn't see you hit the top right hand corner 
uh, and instead of standard, which is this page, you change it to exchange. Okay, we're still on the Bitcoin ringgit pairing. And what we can see here right now in the one year charts, you can see there is this huge increase in the graph. Next, what you want to look at is the order books. This is just showing you at what prices are people queuing to buy and queuing to sell Bitcoin. The green ones are what people are queuing to buy at, starting with the first line of 227,059 ringgit. That is um, the price that most people are queuing to buy. And then as you scroll down through the page, you can see that there are actually people queuing to buy Bitcoin at cheaper prices. And that's what you can do. You can queue for these lower prices. It just takes time for it to get matched and to find a seller who actually wants to transact at that price. On the red side, those are the prices and amounts people are selling their Bitcoin for in Luno. Okay, so let's head to trades and when it comes to trades, you can see two different trades that I did here. I also bought, I bought that 500 ringgit in Bitcoin using uh, the exchange site and you can see that I put in a limit price of 77,778 ringgit and there was also a sell created there, that red little um, mark and that value of 1,999 for a price of 246,000 ringgit. What you are really interested in is how to do the transaction. So I'm no expert in this, but what I normally do, I choose limit and then a limit price. You can, uh, you can put in the price you want to buy your Bitcoin for. So let's just say, the price right now was what 227,000 ringgit per Bitcoin. Maybe you are only willing to buy Bitcoin at 215 ringgit per Bitcoin. So you can actually do that. And what you want to do is also put in the amount that you want to buy. So let's say you want to buy 1,000 ringgit worth of Bitcoin. So if you just input that, it will tell you whether you have enough available funds, as you can see right there. And it will also tell you how much it's going to cost you in fees. If you want to change things around and you want to input how much quantities of Bitcoin that you want to buy, you can also do that. It's really up to you, but I like to work in Ringgit so that I know exactly how much I am buying and whether I actually have that amount. You know, there are these other uh, features that you can choose you can buy the best available price or you can buy as a stop limit. So I just stick to limit pricing where it's going to transact at that particular price that you have input. Same goes for sell, you can do the exact same things. Yeah, so after you have utilized your promo code and maybe you don't want to pay so much fees on instant trade anymore, you can explore using exchange. I highly recommend it, but if you are just someone who wants that straightforward transaction, by all means, you can utilize the instant trade feature as well, which is very convenient and it's very instant and you don't have to wait for the transaction uh, to be matched. Okay, so I guess now we have come to the second part of the video where I tell you what has been happening in the sense that I have been very interested in DeFi where it is okay deregulated finance and it's another very interesting world and arguably those people who fully believe in DeFi they wanted to tell you that it's the most amazing thing that's ever happened to them and it's particularly appealing for people who like to trade and to be on it very very frequently or very very often so uh, I'm just not that sort of person or not that sort of investor, especially when it comes to this because I'm not going to put such a large amount of my investment allocation into this particular asset class of cryptocurrency. But nonetheless, I'm still very interested in what is farming and staking and earning 
cryptocurrency from your cryptocurrency. So I'm still reading up on it, I'm still exploring, but I've heard a lot of good things about it where people are using Binance or people are using other platforms like Gemini and yeah, there, there are just so much out there that to sort through the information, it can get quite overwhelming, but I will link down some resources below that I have found interesting and maybe you can recommend people, YouTube videos, blogs, books, podcasts, anything that you find helpful so that we can help more people who are interested in this particular area find out more things. Yes, I have learned since my last video that Luno is actually a custodian and it actually stores our money in hot wallets. So this is something that I enjoy because I don't need to figure out how to store my cryptocurrency separately and also I guess just set up your two-factor verification and make sure that you disable transferring of your cryptocurrency just to secure it. Another thing I found out was that it's not so straightforward to actually take out your money when it comes to cryptocurrency. So using Luno has been very advantageous where we can just convert it back to Ringgit. But let's say if you're using other platforms, you can utilize other means of taking out your money and also going through the peer-to-peer -peer way of taking out your money, which looks very interesting as well. Something else that I have learned is that Bitcoin is definitely more of a store of value type cryptocurrency and there are a lot more tokens out there that have different functions and Ethereum in particular has been very interesting because it has a lot of um, more features where they talk about smart contracts being written on it on the Ethereum protocol. DeFi is actually powered by Ethereum network and I don't claim to be an expert whatsoever but it does sound very interesting and as an investor it is it's funny because there are just so many things that you can put your money into that it really boils down to what you are willing to learn and what you are interested in and what you are comfortable in putting your money into so there's always going to be something new and exciting just just need to figure out whether it's for you or whether it's not for you and whether it's worth the time figuring it out. So I can tell you that a lot of the people who are fully into crypto say that it is worth your while to learn and to get past that learning curve and go down the rabbit hole of looking into this whole world of deregulation, DeFi and defy the usual monetary system that we are familiar with. So all in all, I guess it's a constant learning journey and I hope you enjoy it too. <laughs> I really don't know how to end this video, but essentially I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.